defiant at their quarter rivals earlier this month. Protest leaders Prit Chiwilak, known as Penguin, and Panusaya Siti Jirawatanakul, known as Rung. But they were hidden from the cameras this week. Police made certain to keep them out of sight as they arrived for criminal court hearings. Both faced charges of sedition and royal defamation. At a tribute for the arrested protesters, Penguin's mother, Surirat Shiwalak, is now growing more worried about her 22-year-old son, but says she's staying strong for him. Penguin's been in jail since February 9th, and two weeks ago started a hunger strike until bail is granted. He always tells us to be patient, to make sacrifices, and be proud of him no matter what happens to him. He's not harming anybody, only expressing his honest opinion to make his homeland a better place. Both Penguin and Rung have been charged with multiple counts of insulting the monarchy and King Mahawachirahankorn. Each one could carry a 15-year sentence. They've been denied bail repeatedly. Just last year, Prime Minister Preo Chenocha said that the king told him not to use the Les Majeste law. But clearly that directive has not only changed as now the royal defamation law is being used to intimidate and scare protesters and their leadership. Around 80 cases have been filed since November. Boon Yun Pratsaring supports the monarchy and strongly believes in Thai traditions. A mother herself, she feels that parents need to take action if their kids are protesting for royal reform. Kids have to listen to their parents when told that they shouldn't criticize the king. It's a sacred institution of our country. It's fine if you criticize the government. Rainbow's parents and Penguin's parents really should have warned their children. Rung's mother, Surya Siti Jira Ratanakul, says she has some regrets for her daughter. Taking care of Rung's cats while she's away gives her comfort. If I could go back in time, I'd still give my daughter the same warnings I gave before. If you want to involve yourself with politics, there'll be consequences. You may go to prison, you may not be able to bail yourself out, and you may lose your freedom. And at this stage, both protest leaders have traded their freedom for what they see as the battle of their generation, deep reform of Thailand's power structures. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.